Hey guys, I'm Francois from Production Music Live and basically I'm working on sound design with these tools here inspired by nature by Dylan Baston and you have audio effects uh, like vector delay, you have instruments like Emmet Tritone, Vector FM, Vector Grain and you have MIDI effects like bouncy notes and yeah today I was just sitting down in the studio and working trying to come up with you know interesting atmospheres interesting sounds and weird sound design variants for future tracks. I'm not really particularly looking to make a track or something. I'm just collecting them while working on a song or something. Um, and I'm just going, this is, this is going to be a production session. I'm just going to like work around here and um, explain a bit and comment what's going on. For example, it's kind of cool. We have this piano here. MIDI's are deactivated, but it's still playing. It's like this noir felt piano from Contact from Native Instruments. Really like this one. It's just a great sound. And I have this bouncy notes MIDI effect in front of it here. So presets, bouncy notes. Uh, presets um, and which one is it filter drip this one here so basically you have walls here you can draw walls into this and so those notes can bounce off those walls like in this old game pong and until they find their way down to the piano roll here So this is completely random somehow. You can also select speed, gravity, mass, friction, and whatnot. And you can also decide on what's the lifetime of each of those bubbles. So if you set it too short, like, like I have right now, they will never reach the ground. They will never really play something. Yeah, so I think something like that for a house track that's kind of more minimalistic is just great you know arbitrary piano notes that are softer and harder with with this random velocity here as well sometimes they're hit a bit harder and sometimes a bit softer okay let's uh Yeah, this sound here is from, from this effect. Um, it's broken synth. Um, it's, this is an instrument. It's generating the sound and it's vector, which one is it? Vector FM, this one here. You can also open these up and they have <laughs> a variety of settings. You can also select a filter. And I, I think I changed the operators here, did I? Yeah, I changed it from one to two. It's the weirdest stuff, but it's great because this is the type of sound you never really... When do you make that? Um, so you can plug that in the background. If I make it louder quickly... So this is definitely not going to be a main sound or something, but it's still something interesting in the background. And on this one... I have these Rezo magnets from the vector delay, which is an audio effect. And you have presets here for all of them. I just work with presets here and then tweak them a little to sort of adjust for inconsistencies and yeah and the mix on this one is low
this is also great for your sound design. Um, you know, this is a like this. What I'm doing right now is basically building a toolkit for future tracks. Because in the future, whenever I need something like that, I will just go back to this project and quickly copy this over. Because until then, I might have forgotten <laughs> um, how I did it. And uh, what do we have here? Yeah, let's let's play a bit. Oh, we okay. Let this one. Let's look at this one. Got some impact. We're sending it through the long reverb, and now we have this nice reverse with vector delay as well. This is super cool. unconventional build-up for a track um, I put in I felt like it needed a bit of this stuff and so very short you can see the other ones I, I've messed around with but I decided for those and this is just the init patch from Diva here which is great as I uh, covered in another video And this is just some random eye drop filter. Again, vector delay and vector delay, two of them. And this one. Yeah, you, yeah, that's also nice. A vector grain is in the instruments here. And you can plug samples into that one. I used from from Woodlands, I used a field recording and maybe this one, I don't know, or that doesn't look like this one. Yeah, one of those and plug it in here and then you can also um, have that thing apply certain Let's actually mess around with it quickly. Yeah, it's already, it sounds like it's not built for this sample here. Um, I'm just undoing what I did. Um, but you, it's, you know, this sound is pretty much being moved around in the stereo spectrum and stuff. But maybe if you put a saw wave in there, <laughs> then, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think we need it here, but 
Let's check it out. Sound packs, sample packs, analog, sit shots, leads. We're in F. So I need one. God. <laughs> That's very interesting. That's interesting as well. Okay, crazy. Um, makes you think of flume right there. Um, okay, electrocute down here. I think this is super interesting. It needs a filter though. This is Vector FM again. And you can also mess around with the operators here. I mean, something like that is really, really great for, you know, for a build-up part where you where it can easily sound boring and then you have textures in the background that keep it interesting. It's not, it's not a conventional texture either. So it's kind of cool. Um, So there's a song idea here. It's it's a little bit like Chicane, um, but yeah, much more organic and more crazy sounds here. As you can see, I turned off the auto, the filter drip here for this part because, you know, this piano is cool and everything, but not all the time and not as much stuff as it outputs. You might as well try to turn down the speed or something. Let's uh, 
do that quickly. So notes don't happen as often. That's also we, also something we can do actually. Instead of turning it completely off here, yeah, let's actually set it like this and put it back up and just automate the speed for this part at least. Half half of what we have. <laughs> Yeah, and this is maybe also interesting. Um, you know, this bass is kind of playing, playing early, um, and I just I wanted to escape a typical pattern that I'm falling into, which is just you know playing bum 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 ba bum, bum bum, and so I moved like I deactivated some notes. Sometimes it's getting groovier with less bass notes or a lot of times actually and so I deactivated some of them that are not really needed and then I also moved the pattern to the front um, like to what was that four uh, four sixteenths notes it's not always working but I kind of like it here I think it works and it sounds sort of fresh, you know, you you have to listen one or two times be like, oh, okay, now I think I got it. And then I put in those stabs that are also kind of random. But never on beat. That's what I'm trying to avoid. If I want groove, I'm hardly playing on beat. You know, I always kind of off beat or right before the next beat, but never really on it because I feel like it grooves grooves much better in these positions here. <laughs> detuned trail on this piano here. This one is actually playing our chord changes. By the way, that's something I'm doing a lot, deactivating notes, because um, sometimes I tend to put in too much and then I don't know what to take out and then I test around with, with deactivating notes so I don't lose stuff that was a lot of work. Yeah, that thing is kind of funny, like tree tone. It's an instrument from that pack generate sounds from different shapes of trees. I definitely try to keep remain in scale, so that's why I put in the tonic F here. That um, F is the tonic of this track. Um, and I'm, I'm really trying to do that with all these elements because I mean that broken radio thing and go can go crazy in the frequency range, but other elements should sort of follow some rules. Yeah, so as you can see, um, there's lots of stuff you can do. You can sit down a whole day and just build textures and then um, come back at some point in time and use them in your tracks. So 
from now on with this in Ableton Live 11, there's no no excuse for boring buildups and outros. <laughs> you can always um, kind of spice it up with this stuff. So I gotta go, um, just a short session here and I hope to see you next time.